let's talk about how to microtune common plugins so you can produce microtonal music. First, we'll need to prepare a tuning file. The easiest way to do this is using Scale Workshop. I recommend it. It's linked below this video. It's accessible and deep made by several community members in the microtonal scene. You can make new scales, modify existing scales, remap them, have auto latticing, etc. Plus you can jam in your browser. So let's say that you're trying to make 31 equal divisions of an octave. All I have to do is come in here, hit 31, press OK, and now I've got 31 notes laid out. Let's say you want your rebia, you can just do that, and voila, we have it here laid out. Once you settle on a tuning, you'll need to export it. Look over here and see these various export settings. Based on what synthesizer or software you're using, it may take a different file types, but these are the most common tuning files that you'll run into. I'm gonna grab the tuning file for several different variations just to make sure that we can apply it for all of them. And then let's go make it work. We're gonna explore several common VSTs and synths, which utilize different tuning files. You can check the Zen Wiki for a list of programs which are micro-tunable. Not every library or synth will be micro-tunable, but many common tools are. Let's start with three of the most common synths, Pigments, Serum, and Omnisphere. All three of these use basic.tune files. So to retune the synth, you just navigate to the tuning panel and load the .tune. If I am in Pigments right here, I've got some generic patch open. In older versions, you used to microtune it here under the keyboard setting. But in the newer version of Pigments, you have to go up here to the options. There will be these different settings. Under settings, you simply enable microtuning. Then you just bring in whatever .tune file you want. It's got a couple basic ones here. So if I go to load tune file, here are several tuning files that are already had available. Apply any of those, voila, we have microtonality. So that's pigments, it's very simple. Now let's do the same thing, but for serum. Same deal, all you're gonna do is go up into menu. There's an entire setting here that says load tuning file. You simply load in whatever tuning file you want and voila. Same thing with Omnisphere, it has a native scale function right here in the front panel. However, in order to put other things in here, you have to navigate to the unique folder for Omnisphere and drag and drop your tunings into that folder. The folder can be found under your Omnisphere settings, library, presets, slash tuning file. So I've got the strings here. And all I have to do is just navigate to whatever I want already that's sitting in that folder. So I'll just go ahead and put on the Eurebia scale and we have. Those are three really common synthesizers that show up in production. Let's take a look at maybe the most common sampler, which is Contact. Contact has several different ways to microtune it and it depends on what you're trying to do. So I've gone ahead and grabbed a basic jazz guitar patch here from the contact library directly. Enter the edit mode here by clicking the gear. Not all libraries will let you do that. Once you are in the edit panel, you simply go to script editor. Look for an empty channel. Not all of them will have that, but you do need that in order to microtune it. Once here, you have multiple options. There are actually some default presets here. If you go to preset, Factory tuning, you'll see there's dynamic pure tuning, not really that useful. Micro tuning, this feature limits you to only having 12 notes, but it does allow you to modify those. There is a 50 cent maximum in any direction though. So if I take my B flat, which is kind of fun though. So that's one of the basic functions. It also does have an equal division of octave. So if you come here and click notes per octave, voila. Now you can just set this to whatever the value you want it to be. And now that I've set that on 31, contact is automatically tuning it. These are both native ways to microtune contact, but you can also use contact tuning scripts, which allow for more customizability. This file will be a text file, which looks like this. It's just a bunch of data. So you simply copy all of it from the text document, go to edit, paste it here, then hit apply. Now we have that scale that we selected. Those are the main ways to microtune contact. Let's look at Piano Tech. It arguably has the best microtonal support. It has multiple ways to microtune it. It has a really amazing interface to play with and explore tunings in, and it accepts multiple different file types. Open up the tuning, you click this little button here, and then now we're in the tuning circle, which by itself is an amazing native support. It's currently in 12, and you can see you can just literally move around notes in 12 manually. 
which is pretty cool that they even have that. But there's also several different tunings here and you can import Scala files. So if I wanted that Eurebia tuning, I can just go here, hit this, and voila, we can actually see the ratios on the circle showing themselves. So where Pigment, Serum, and Omnisphere use .tune files, this tends to use .scl files. It also uses keyboard mapping files here, which can be really, really convenient. Pianotech also has an automatic equal division tool. So if you don't want to mess around with exporting any tunings, you can just come here, click make equal, and whatever amount of degrees you put in here, it will divide your octave that many ways. So let's say I want to do 53 equal. Now I have 53 equal notes per octave. I doubt many people have Lounge Lizard, but it's a really amazing Rhodes VST, but I'll just show how to microtune it really fast. You simply click here and boom. Let's look at the software Harmer, which is a native program for FL Studio. I'll just demonstrate this because it took me a while to figure it out and I want to save people the trouble. In order to microtune Harmer, you can directly use the Harmer microtune file here, the .fnv pitch map, or what I learned is even easier, you can simply open up its envelope panel, go to pitch, go to keyboard mapping, and then you're going to drag and drop a .scl file right here into the envelope. It will magically retune your keyboard. This is also really fun because you can just like manually like return it crazy. If you are producing in Ableton, I'm not really sure how to help there, but I do know there are Ableton scale files, and I also think there's native MIDI retuning in Ableton, so that should probably be self-explanatory. Here are a couple things to keep in mind. MIDI is limited to 128 pitches. This real estate is not easily expandable, so be aware of that. However, this can be remedied by duplicating and globally transposing instances of a plugin to get more range from a particular scale. Some synths are just not microtunable without overall repitching, but that really limits the scope of what you can define the pitches to be. That's all for this video. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you want to support the work I'm doing, check me out on Patreon. Have a beautiful day.